Welcome back to Farmingham, everyone. We are out here earlier this morning trying to get some calves loaded. Um, dog and thought he found a raccoon or something. Um, we're trying to get some calves loaded to take them to the sale barn. These are some tiny little ones out of the neighbor's dexter bowl that got across the fence. So um, they didn't match our last group we sold a couple months ago, so we saved them just to put a little more weight on them. And now we're going to take them to the sale barn today. So we are currently dealing with the same thing with the call cows. I don't need her, but she's probably going to come out anyway. Two red ones are half blind, so I'm not too worried about them making their way out because we won't find the gate. I just need that one, the black one, and those two black ones. that one missed the gate. wild ones so we'll see if see if I can scare her around that gate to stay in. Okay, she kept eating. They're a little more skittish. So I got them in. guys so we are on the road um, got the three calves loaded up like I mentioned at the beginning these are Dexter mix something uh, they're out of our first calf heifers um, the reason we know is from the neighbors bulls because these heifers calved in the middle of summer they weren't supposed to calve for another three months and the only bull that had gotten in with them was the neighbors Dexter that kept crawling through the fence so um, Anyway, that's what these are. I don't expect them to do well at the sale barn. You can tell they're bark miniature. Um, they're really skinny, narrow bodied animals. Of course, they're not skinny because we don't feed them. They're just, their frame is skinny. So anyway, we're on to the sale barn. Uh, don't expect them to do super well, but better to get them out of our hair and not feed them hay for the rest of the year. Who knows, they may surprise us. Sometimes these little calves actually do okay, but Anyway, I'm going to drop these off. Um, I'm not going to wait around to see them sell because 
they started selling about an hour ago and they'll be selling for the next three, four hours and I doubt these will make it in in the next 30 minutes like my cows did the other day. So not gonna hang around, just gonna drop them off, head home, get some more stuff done. <laughs> All right, guys, so we got that tree down. It is now later in the evening, and uh, that cow you saw this morning that I was trying to keep separated from the calves, I am now gonna get her in. She had a swollen jaw a while back. When the vet came out to preg check, he said she'd be fine to give her some LA 300. Um, so this is gonna be her second round. Uh, her jaw is pretty much back to normal, but there's still a little bit of swelling. And uh, I want to give her one more shot before I let her back out with the other cows, just to be safe. Okay, girl, come on. Tell her face is almost back to normal, but she still has a little bit. Come on. Still has a little bit of swelling there. Hey. Okay, come on, girl. She also kicks. So this isn't always the uh, safest place to be. Hey. Let's go. Come on. Come on. Hey. Come on.
Okay, she's all done. Gave her shots in a few different spots. Now we're gonna let her out with the other cows, but she's got about a, I don't know, three quarters of a mile to walk to get there. So we're gonna let her in this first field and uh, walk her to the other cows tomorrow or the next day. So, so guys, while I'm walking her back, Thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. Uh, if you have any questions or comments, leave those down below. I'll be sure to check those out. And with that being said, I will see you all next time.